new update came out for this game, so I'm thinking of uh, starting a series, and might as well, you know. Um, I had a lot of fun with this game. Uh, I've had it for about, I don't know, a month or two, maybe. Um, so yeah, and I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, let's do a new game here. So I think what I'll do is I will start with all these settings because um, I'm experienced, but not that experienced, and I usually tend to handle just handle this game by basically holding out in areas until I build up loads of resources and then send stuff out. But due to that, it ends up building up the enemy and I have to deal with ridiculous stuff like strength 500 to nearly well, like 1000. So uh, we'll see how this goes this time though. Okay, hang on, I've got a cup of, be a new campaign. Let me see, there's a cup of tea here. Mm. Alright then, cool. Alright, let's do this. Ugh. So yeah, I got myself a cup of tea, and I sat down to record, and yeah. Um, so, I think what we're going to go with is, because this base is pretty terrible, um, I don't think I'll edit it together just yet. I'll probably scrap a few things on this thing. Uh to get some more resources. Probably scrap that boat, even though it's pretty decent, but I mean, it has to be in numbers to really do well. Um, I think it's only just recently they added this new ship, um, or at least somewhat recently. Um, because a lot of time you would just start with this base and that would be you. But now they give you like a small ship, so. Um, it's good for beginners, but I mean, I'm just gonna scrap it because it doesn't really work unless you just have it in number. Uh, so yeah, I think the first campaign I properly played, I made a swarm of those ships, and that's how I completed Deepwater Guard. I didn't have to make any other ships, I just made a sh ton of those, and swarm them, because missiles and guns. Because this thing is really OP, it has a shield, um, and apparently, like, I, I remember saving it, and then, um, apparently it's level 106 or something, so that's pretty OP for a you know, a wooden ship. Um, so I, well, I mean, I don't know if that really, the leveling thing actually works out well, because I remember building, like, a battleship out of, like, three layers, four layers of uh, alloy, and covering it with shields, and it was only a level 15 or 12 or something, you know? So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll just do a few scraps here and there. Um, to get some resources and build like a simple ship, um, a simple like missile ship because missiles are OP and right now I'm afraid we're going to just have to go with it, uh, go with missiles because it's a safer bet than making a gun right now. And apparently they added a, what is it, advanced cannons? So um, I need to still fully learn them, but I, I've gotten a, an idea on how they work. Uh, so yeah. Alright, let's do this. I think what we'll go with is... Yeah, I remember now. Um, so yeah, we'll get rid of that for now. Keep the satellite because that just helps us. Um, so it's usually... So I'm trying not to make the entire thing fall apart. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> I'm I'm trying to avoid breaking the satellite cuz that's pretty much all we have to see like what's going on um around us. I will look on the map in a second. I just need to get a few things here. By scrapping this like useless storage thing, it's just it gives us so much um I mean, I guess a lot, but, you know, it's something. Um, there we go. And that's going to stay there a while, isn't it? Uh, let's get rid of the ammo, because we don't need it here. Um, I saw that they changed the um, textures for the um, fuel. 
and they also made different block fuels where there's like a three by three two by two or something something like that um so yeah uh i don't think i'll do any more scrapping on this thing except yeah i'll get rid of this thing one second uh let me just quickly scrap some things because uh I'm sure this is a good base for like beginners, but when, <laughs> but when you've like played the game a few times and you've kind of gotten used to it, you're kind of like all these resources. <laughs> no, what a waste! I need them, <laughs> you know. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna go and cut off sections of this thing, keeping like, you know, the parts that matter, or at least some of it that matters. There. Okay, uh, let's keep going this way. So yeah, hopefully I cut through the entire thing properly. There we go. So yeah, all that metal's uh, gone back to me now, so that's great. Uh, let's see. Wait, what's that supposed to be? Oh, it's just an... Is it just a wooden block? Okay. <laughs> yeah, they updated the textures for the wood. So, it's all that now. Um, so yeah. Oh wait. So I gotta make sure I take every scrap I can, cause with that. Oh, okay. Thank God, cause I don't want that thing to go down. Now let's really strip this thing down, cause every little bit of metal is needed. Cause metal's very useful. Um, the wood I'm not concerned about. Actually, you know what? Let's just get rid of this thing. Uh, oh bollocks! Uh, completely forgot. Okay, that one should be just fine. <laughs> that one, I'm sure that's all we need. Um, actually no, I'll redesign that. Might as well now. I've bollocks it up. Should do anyway. Uh, let's see. Bunch of random storage. Let's. Let's keep that fuel there for now. Um, just grab these things. Don't know if they give anything back. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this stuff. So yeah, um, I'll probably build like something that's not too big. Um, but you know, but it's just going to be a small-ish ship for uh, just carrying missiles. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's make that look pretty. <laughs> uh, raw resources. So they changed this entire thing, so it's a bunch of new stuff to me. What? Oh, storage, okay. Uh, gatherers. There you go. Uh, put another oil around there, but then we just put the. I'm not sure we're doing anything for power. Yeah, we could just about handle that. Yeah, we'll be fine. Um, oil. You know what? Might I might as well. If it doesn't kill this thing. Yeah, five energy. That should be fine. Okay. Uh, let's get out this and. Yeah, so I've played this quite a um, quite a bit, so I have like a bunch of levels. I think I put it all into engineering, which will make me kind of OP when it comes to engineering, or like repairing and stuff. Sorry. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, this will be pretty scrubby, and I I don't want to really build wooden ships, but I kind of you know I want to actually have some kind of progression because I would pretty much just stay here build a bunch of those uh, swarm the deep water guard and just you know take them all out with these basically these in like groups of like three or five because uh, they're kind of cheap maybe you scrap a few parts of it you know you c the only thing you would need is just make sure the AI is still there keep the gun and the missiles or even scrap everything else and just keep the missiles and make sure it can you know move and then you've then you just make a bunch of those because they're cheaper and then you can just swarm the enemy with missiles 
Uh, even though some of them have like flare decoys and stuff like that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, missiles are pretty reliable. Uh, and I would pretty much swarm the entire deep water guard, you know, and then hold that territory, build up loads of resources, and then instantly go to like modern battleships and stuff. Uh, but you know, I, I feel like I want to actually have some kind of progression because I think early on I tried to make a metal ship and it was terrible. Uh, but this is when I first started out and it was it's a terrible ship. I'll build it later just to show it because I think I still have it. Um, save, so I'll show that and maybe send it on like its own mission. Um, so yeah, uh, let me just check the map, see what's going on. Anything near us? I think I'll make a satellite uh, just to help us out a bit. So, I'm not a satellite one. Uh, but yeah, you guys know what I mean. Uh, let's. Okay, how about I start building the other ship I got going? Uh, okay, uh, bear back, guys. Just going to make a missile ship of some sort. Um, it won't be great, mainly because it'll be covered in wood and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, see you in a bit. I'll go and build the ship now. Uh, so yeah, the HMS, uh, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I didn't know what to call it, so I just went with whatever. If you guys want to recommend names, uh, that'd be great. Um, I think what I'll do, once I start building, you know, big, proper ships, um, you know, capital ships even, uh, like proper metal ships, I guess, you know, um, I'll probably start naming them, uh, with probably people from the community, uh, friends on this community and stuff like that. That'd be awesome. Uh, so yeah. All right. Let's see if I can just, yeah. So yeah, uh, this thing is just equipped with missiles. Um, these missiles are pretty good I don't know like I'm not a hundred percent I mean they're all right uh, in swarm they can do all right um, yeah I mean they'll get the job done I mean there's 12 of them Ooh, hello so yeah um, but this ship will take off if I'm not careful um, I mean one thing that the main reason I'm not that good at building these wooden ships is because I basically tried to avoid them at all costs on my first playthrough. Um, because I knew that in order to make a good wooden ship, you would have to make it like <laughs> maybe like 10 layers thick, um, like in wooden blocks, in order for it to survive a lot of the time. Um, or make it absolutely ridiculously massive. Um, you know, so. Uh, and I basically went with, oh, so why why do we have big wo uh, big metal ships today? You know, why do we have <laughs> them like that then? You know, so I, I basically went with the idea that, eh, wooden ships are okay, but then why do we have metal ones? So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I basically skipped wooden ships. So this ship isn't good for what it is. Uh, I mean, it's. Oh, and I will uh, be doing the sort of like pirate thing where you leap onto a ship and capture it. I will be doing that a lot to help with getting resources. Or we'll spend a long time just waiting around uh, while we've captured like the deep water guards territory. Because, uh, you know, it'll be a lot of waiting around for resources. Uh, ships won't be built that quickly. Um, so yeah, I think this thing can handle itself. I, that's, this is the, this is the, uh, where the controls are this oh, the thing at the back there is where the AI is and then if I just tab out oh hello so yeah there's the, front. There's the uh, missiles uh, ammo engine and then fuel so yeah they added these new fuel blocks and they're pretty cool but yeah three by three it's pretty cool um, so yeah bunch of new stuff I got the I've sectioned off parts of the ship um, so that if one parts hit then the entire ship won't sink that sort of thing uh, but I mean it's wood so I, I won't say it will help that much um, and with the ammo I cased it in some metal 
I believe. Yeah, in between the outside and then layer of metal. So, uh, yeah, it's basically a floating wooden box with some gunpowder covered in tin foil at this point, really, uh, with some firecrackers. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, I think what we'll do, because I remember where all the deep water guard bases are, and I have some idea of where some of the other ones are. I think we'll just deal with, well, we have to deal with the deep water guard for now, and then I'll ask you guys who do you think I should go against. I know many people, not many people will watch this series, to be honest, uh, or at least I'm guessing. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it will probably come down to like one or two votes. Uh, so yeah, let's see. So I know, ooh, so I know where the other one is. I know it's like around here. Um, there's a block there, then block, and then a resource zone. And I think what I'll probably do is let's save this ship um, and then see how much it costs and see if I can get another one built. Uh, if I can't, then, you know, we'll just run with this one and quickly head out. Uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll, we'll send that ship out and then build another one here while we're away. And if we can manage to build the second one while the ship's away, if, if this one's built, then if it's attacked, then we'll have something to defend it. Um, I won't be too bothered on upgrading this base too much. I'll try and build something cheaper. They can just be, you know, we can go to a, a resource gatherer, drop a uh, resource um, zone, drop off the resource gatherer, and then just, you know, keep going kind of thing. Um, I probably will, there, I will eventually build some kind of like proper base for this thing uh, and try out some of the new guns as well. That'd be fun. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is probably just rush out, grab that other resource zone, and uh, build up the fleet kind of thing. Uh, maybe build another one of these to guard each resource gatherer, and then maybe work on a new ship. That would be cool. So yeah, uh, this first episode will just be, you know, very basic beginner stuff. Uh, a lot of scrapping stuff, a lot of not much building. Um, you know, this dangerous early stages of the game right now so yeah uh we're gonna send the ship out and i will see you guys in the next video